Janet Horne was born in the early 18th century in the Scottish Highlands. Her early life is largely unknown, but she was known in her community for her unconventional behavior. She was rumored to have made a pact with the devil and to have magical powers. In 1722, Janet Horne's husband died, leaving her with a young daughter. She became increasingly isolated and relied on alcohol to cope with her grief. Her behavior became more erratic, and she was accused of practicing witchcraft by some members of her community. The accusations against Janet Horne began to mount, and she was eventually put on trial in 1727. The trial was held in Dornoch, a small town in the Highlands. Janet Horne was accused of having sex with the devil, as well as causing illness and death with her magical powers. Her daughter, who was also accused of witchcraft, was acquitted due to lack of evidence. Janet Horne was found guilty and was sentenced to be burned at the stake. However, the exact circumstances of her execution are unclear. Some reports suggest that she was burned alive, while others claim that she was strangled before being burned. The story of Janet Horne is tragic, and her life was likely plagued by poverty, isolation, and mental illness. Her unconventional behavior and rumored magical powers made her an easy target for accusations of witchcraft, which were often made against women who were considered to be outside of the societal norm, such as unmarried women or those who lived alone. Janet Horne's story is not unique, and it is a reminder of the harm caused by witch hunting. Many innocent people were accused of witchcraft and were subjected to brutal executions, often based on little or no evidence. Today, Janet Horne is remembered as a tragic figure in Scottish history. Her story has inspired many to speak out against the persecution of marginalized groups and to work towards a more inclusive and just society. The fact that she was the last person to be executed for witchcraft in Scotland is a testament to the changing attitudes towards witchcraft and the recognition of the harm caused by witch hunting. In 2004, the Scottish Parliament passed the Witches, Scotland, Act, which officially pardoned all those who were convicted of witchcraft, including Janet Horne. This act was a small step towards acknowledging the injustices of the past and working towards a more compassionate future. Janet Horne's life and execution serve as a reminder of the injustices of the past and the importance of working towards a more just and inclusive future. Her story highlights the need for compassion, understanding, and empathy towards those who are marginalized and vulnerable.